Right, we're going to have a look at tables today, tables in Microsoft Word. So it's actually very easy to insert a table in Microsoft Word. We simply go to Insert, Table. There you go. Insert Table, and we can just select how many columns we would like, how many rows, and you'll notice it's actually doing that in the screen as I'm doing this. So let's just go for some base. There's a nice one there. Boom, table created. But let's have a look and see what other options we have that we can work with. So first of all, you'll notice the table has got a little drag handle at the top. So you can sort of move it around. I don't recommend doing that, okay, because it causes chaos. Then at the bottom right-hand side, you can see we have the little drag handle there. That means I can resize my table quite easily. Very nice. So this is just for rough resizing. And you'll also notice in the ribbon, at the top, when I'm inside a table, I've got table design and layout. If I'm not in a table, table design and layout are not there. So make sure if you're gonna work with a table, click inside the table first. Then you can see table design and layout are there. So let's have a look at what else we have in terms of our properties of our table. So if I go ahead and just click to select my table, and I'd like to see what are the properties of this table. Well, you can just right click, remember, right click on anything. If you need to find out something about something, right click on it. So I right click on my table and I go all the way down to table properties. Let's have a look and see what sort of properties do I have. Well, uh, looking at my table uh, tab, I've got the alignment, left, center, or right, so I can align it like an image, like you would with an image. Uh, text wrapping, same thing, like you would with an image, none or around. Row properties are there, column properties are there, cell properties are there. So take a minute or two, create a table, and then go ahead and right click and go to properties and have a look. Do that now. I'm gonna assume that you did that. If not, you're cheating, but that's okay. Let's keep learning. And have a look now. I'm still inside my table and I'm in table design. Let's see what we have available. So I've got table style options. Now design means how it looks, how everything looks, okay. So I've got a header row, total row, banded rows, all of these things. You can go ahead and just click on those things and see what they do. Here are my table styles, and I'm gonna open this up here. You can see there's all kinds of styles. So we can format our table to a pre-existing style, for example, like this. Voila, there it's got space for a big heading, sections down here, information in here or like that, space for a heading, and then there are my rows. Again, these are all pre-designed options, and you can play around and see what they do. I'm just gonna go with a standard table, and here we have shading. Now remember the term shading is like coloring in, when you color something in. So if I wanted to shade this cell over here, I'm still in table design, go to shading, I'm going to select a color, and there we go, that is a beautiful color. Hmm. What else do we have? Border styles. So here we are in my borders group. I've got border styles. Okay. I've got uh, thicknesses here and different styles over there. I've got, here we go there like this. Now you'll notice when I chose something here, it gives me an option to then go ahead and apply that change to my table. Do you notice that the icon of my cursor has changed? It's like a paintbrush or a quill or an ink thing. I think it's like a paintbrush. And I can go and I can sort of click. And I, oh darn, I mean, go do that again. I, I, I messed that up. And I can then click and click and click. Do you see? So I'm like drawing the borders that I chose. Okay. We could actually create like a person's face or something. Okay. Don't, oh, that's just a disaster. Okay. But there you go. Press escape. To get out of that all right and then of course there's a border painter pretty much the same thing as what i was just doing now so those are all the table design options so take a minute the table that you should have created earlier if go ahead now and just go to the table design and explore some of the various options you have with table design Okay, so while you were busy exploring in the table design, I went and created a table, 
and uh, just a plain ordinary table and I'm going to be in the layout tab now. So have a look here. Let's see what options we have with our layout. Here I have a 3x3 three three table, 9 cells and each cell has got some text in it. So let's have a look at some of the alignment options that we have. You'll recognize this because we actually looked at some of this in Microsoft Excel where we changed where the text is aligned. So I'm in my layout tab in my table and this is actually easier than Excel because it's got all nine different versions right there in the in the, in the toolbar. Have a look. So top left is there. I can do center. I can do right. And I'm just going to go through all of them and you can see what I'm doing. And it's changing the alignment in each cell from top to bottom, left to right, centered. So vertically and horizontally. And look at that. That is very, very cool. So there are all my alignment options. My text direction is here. You simply click and it then just rotates through the various options that you have. That's pretty cool. Let's start right at the beginning here in my table group. So remember, I'm in layout, okay? So how things are placed within my document. So I've got select over here. Don't worry about that now. View grid lines. That doesn't do anything now while we have borders, but when you have borders off or you don't have borders on a table, that view grid lines is very, very handy, okay? In fact, let me show you, let me show you. So I'm gonna quickly switch off, uh, take off all the borders, all right, so at the moment, you can see the table is there and you can see every single cell, every row and every column. That is because in my layout, my view grid lines is active. If I switched it off, hmm, that's a little bit different. I can click outside of that. Now, you might not know right away by looking at that that it's a table because you don't see the grid lines. So please, if you see something like this, here's your clue. You click inside there, you can see here, there is my move uh, tool, my drag tool, and there's my resize ha drag handle over there. But go to layout, click on view grid lines, much easier, okay. Properties is here, draw a table, go ahead and play with that later. Eraser, that is actually quite handy. I'll show you what this does. I'm gonna click over here, and I'm gonna erase that one, and erase that one. I'm going to erase that one. and It erases borders and, and, and uh, lines, so it actually merges them together. So instead of you having to merge things, it does it for you. Very nice, but it does take a little bit of time. So, uh, for example, if I wanted to merge this row, normally I would click, drag my mouse across so I can see I've selected both of those cells, the whole row, right click, merge cells. So that's another way. So I could have used the eraser, very nice for custom um, merging, or select everything, right click, merge cells. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, delete, delete a row, delete a column, delete a table, delete a cell, whatever you like, it's all there, okay? And here, insert above, below, left and right. So let's say I wanted to insert another row below this row. I can right click and I can go to insert below or insert above. Watch, I'm gonna click insert above and I now have a new row. If you are in, here's a quick tip. If you are in the last row and you press tab, it'll create a new row for you. That's not bad, very, very handy. Okay, um, let's just do one more thing for you. Let's take that out the way there. Now, in this table cell, that I have over here. Let's say I've merged that now, it's one big row and I don't want that anymore. I actually want my two cells back. Well, what you can do there is you can split that cell. You can split it again. So that is in my split cells tool right over here. So I make sure that I'm in the right row, split the cell. How many columns do I wanna split this into? Two columns, okay, two columns. And how many rows? Well, just stay in the one row. I don't want any more rows, let's not confuse things and click OK, and there you go. I have two columns again. So that's up to the merge. All right, cell size, easy. You can specify how high or how wide every cell can be. And then these we'll get onto a little bit later. These we've done, and these we'll get onto a little bit later as well. So do the activity associated with this video, and then you can move on to the next activity where we do some slightly more advanced table formatting.